Hi everyone, how are you going? I'm on to just do a quick video just to show you how I done these folded um, pockets. Uh, this, look, this wasn't my idea. I was actually watching um, Al John, which is Amy here on YouTube, and I'll link Amy's video or her channel down in my description box so you can go over and have a look at it um, but I belong to a group that's called Junk Journals Down Under and the girls um, I inspired some of the ladies there and they had made their own um, and Krista just asked me if I could do a video because her setup wasn't um, I don't know something about her setup she couldn't do a, a video so I just thought I would come on and do one for you um, this one it's very very simple so we've got a pocket here a pocket there and a pocket there so there's one two there's three pockets and if you put this down on your page and just glue down the three sides you can actually have another nice big pocket there so you can have four pockets on these so what I did you can get four pieces see um, ideally it would be good if you had these ones joined in the middle but I made these ones just with four separate pages and you can see where I've actually sewed just around three sides of them and this the last panel here is rather wide so I've just decorated that one so you need four bits of paper so I've got two there and I've got another two here just let me come out a bit sorry okay but you can use four single pieces if you don't have them joined in the middle so all you have to do um, and just remember you've got to you make it to the size that's going to fit into your journal I, always, um, I like to actually do sum up that are pre-done and then if I want one for a journal I can just go and grab it so we've got this paper here and I'll just quickly give you the sizes of it in inches so this is nearly nine nine inches by six inches this paper that I'm just using to show you so all you do is just fold the top part down to however wide you want or however deep you want your first pocket so you fold that there then the next page gets folded over for and you leave enough space here um, to show that you can tuck something in there for a little tuck spot and you just make sure that you have the sides even down there and then the third piece gets put up folded down roughly equal size to that I'm not really measuring I'm just um, eyeballing it and this piece here is actually going to be longer so grab a pair of scissors and I've got them all out in the lounge room oh no here here's a pair so I've just been trimming this part off down there and they're, they're just so easy and simple to make and then your last sheet I always just fold mine back just so that I can see the different the the um, distance between those ones there and get it rather even so that one's going to be folded there and 
this part here is just a little bit too long so I'm just going to turn that over and cut that one down now I don't want to have this edge there so I'll just pick that up and fold it back down on itself where I'd already made the crease and put that back up there okay so that's what it looks like so far you've got the four little tuck spots just in there and then all I do is just grab my um, my ink this is just an old one I've been using and I'll just go along and ink the sides There's, because I like to sew mine um, I like to sew it down the side and along the bottom and back up so it's good to do this before you actually sew it together and you'll have to excuse me I've got another head cold okay so just ink around the edges and down the sides okay so <coughs> pardon me that's what we're up to now um, now instead of just getting my sewing machine out because I've done enough sewing the other day um, you can see here where I've sewed along the top down the bottom and then along the bottom down here um, with this one I will just I'll just glue it and that'll save it a bit of time, less hassle um, just so that you know that you can glue it if you don't have a sewing machine so all you do is just put a dab of glue right along there and right along there and you go up under that flap if you're gluing if you're sewing you don't have to worry about it so that will hold that first fold down and I didn't need that much glue and then you just put the next one down I'm just making sure I line the center of this up here because I, it is a folded paper right and then you just open up this one here and put some glue along those sides and fold that one back down um, now I'm just going to put glue down on this side here because I put too much glue up the top there on the other one so we glue that one down and then just open that fold up and put some glue along there and I'm going to open this fold up too and put glue along there and now just put some glue on this last fold and just put that up there so that's it now that's what you do if you've got the fold on the the two separate pieces of paper if you haven't got a fold down here you're going to actually have to glue all the way along there um, because these ones were just separate pieces of paper and I've actually sewn along there so I didn't have to worry about gluing it but because this one here is um, 
because because this one here is a folded piece of paper well it's two folded pieces of paper it's actually got a join there um, and then you can just go and decorate your front panel however you like um, this is how I've decorated some of mine with um, some pattern paper, a bit of lace, some music sheet paper um, got a little bit of calico and some mesh and then just an image on them this one's got a little bit of eyelash trim same as this one, this one's got some burlap underneath the calico and then there's this one it's got some ribbon down but you can just decorate the the front panel however you want and then when you go and put this in your book you can just glue down the three sides like that and you've got lovely little um, four tuck spots um, then there's this one here. This front panel was actually a little bit larger. There's that one, that one, and that one. And depending on how you glue it, you can just glue the whole lot down and just end up with the three tuck spots, or you can just glue the three sides down and end up with that. And that one there. Okay, so that's how easy. Um, this is to me this nine inch piece of paper would be actually um, a bit too long unless I'm doing a, a really large book so I might actually end up just cutting this in half um, and having two uh, two smaller ones which I actually might do now just to show you that it can be done I've got a... oh, I can't find my blade now. There it is, right beside me. Okay, so I might just cut there. Need a new blade, I think. Okay, so all I'll have to do is just go and put some glue along these sides here. Okay. So there's that one, and then along this side. Okay, um, I will end up going around and sewing around it because I just like how it, I like the way it looks with the sewing on it. Okay, so I've just cut that big one down into two smaller ones, which is pretty cool. So there you go guys, hope that helps you, um, but I will leave, I know a lot of other people um, have done this on YouTube as well, um, but the video, the video I watched was actually from Amy, Al John, um, and it would be worthwhile going over there and having a look because if you're crafting on a budget, Amy does some absolutely wonderful thrifty ideas okay and she has got other different styles of pockets that she does as well as well as a lot of other mixed media um, art and craft stuff okay so hope that helps and there you go Krista um, this was actually done for Krista because she hasn't got the proper setup to do a tutorial. Okay, you all have fun guys making some and I shall catch you later. Bye bye.